Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many Jenkins users encounter. Our viewer has installed Jenkins 2.46.2 on Windows Server 2012 and integrated it with Gitbucket. However, when trying to trigger a build upon a change in Gitbucket, they face an error that reads, no valid crumb was included in the request. Let's dive into this problem and explore how to resolve it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. The error message you're encountering indicates that Jenkins is rejecting the request due to a missing security crumb. This is a security feature in Jenkins to prevent cross-site request forgery. To resolve this issue, you need to configure Jenkins to allow the webhook requests from Gitbucket. First, navigate to your Jenkins dashboard. Next, go to Manage Jenkins and then select Configure Global Security. Here you will find the option to disable the CSRF protection temporarily. After making this change, save your configuration. Now, try to trigger the webhook again from Gitbucket. This should resolve the crumb error. If you prefer to keep CSRF protection enabled, you can also configure Gitbucket to send the correct crumb with the request. This involves setting up a valid crumb issuer in Jenkins. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the no valid crumb was included in the request error in Jenkins on Windows, you need to obtain a crumb first. After obtaining the crumb, you can run your Jenkins job using a curl command. If successful, you should see a response indicating that the job was created. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The issue was caused by leaving the Jenkins window unattended for a while. After returning, the user had to sign in again to configure the job with Git. They also enabled auto-refresh in Jenkins to avoid this problem in the future. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it, and be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.